Welcome back. Now for your five-day weather forecast, we go outside to Dino Pasalic. Thanks, guys. Now here's your five-day forecast. It's currently 8 degrees, partly cloudy, with some showers expected for later this afternoon and a high of 10 degrees. But that will clear up tomorrow. You can expect a sunny day with a high of 9 and a low of 1. During the weekend, should stay fairly sunny with a high of 8 and a low of 2 on Saturday. Expect Sunday to be even warmer with a high of 13 and a low of 9. Not much of a change heading into next week. It will be cloudy with a high of 13 and a low of 7. Now back to Hannah and Melissa in the studio. Thanks, Dino. The Transportation Safety Board of Canada is investigating a fa fatal helicopter crash in northern Ontario. The Bell 206 Long Ranger crashed 29 kilometers south of Kappa's Casing yesterday and left no survivors. Three men died, including the pilot and two engineers from Tembeck Incorporated, a forest products company. Construction continues at a Mississauga gas plant despite election promises by the Ontario Liberals to shut down the plant. Premier Dalton McGuinty says the plans are more complicated than he thought. McGuinty says the Liberals are in discussions to relocate the plant, but would not disclose how much this would cost taxpayers. Syrian activists say security forces have killed 10 people in the city of Homs. This comes in spite of a government promise to end the crackdown on street protests. The government agreed to an Arab League initiative yesterday to pull the military out of cities, release political prisoners, and hold talks with the opposition. Residents and activists, however, say there have so far been no signs of troops pulling out. Protests demanding the removal of President Bashar al-Assad started in March. The United Nations says more than 3,000 people have been killed since the unrest began. Brushing your teeth may be more dangerous than you think. Colgate Palmolive recalled their Motion Electric toothbrushes after receiving nine reports that the device had exploded. Health Canada has issued warnings for people to stop using their battery-powered toothbrush. The product may still be found in stores until the recall is complete. No long-term injuries have occurred from the explosions. And now with your sports news, here's Vicky Simon. <laughs> Setters, Spikers, and Diggers are getting ready for the Hawks games tonight against the Niagara Knights. The women serve at 6 p.m. and the men at 8 p.m. The men won their fourth straight Adidas Cup title October 24th in Oshawa, and the women won the Humber Cup tournament October 29th. Both are dangerous teams to be contending with this season. MLB's baseball bidding war starts today. The World Series may have come to an end, but now it's time for the free agent season to begin. First baseman Albert Pujols of the defending World Series champion St. Louis Cardinals may be changing teams. Jays general manager is looking to fill some empty gaps in his roster and may look to target a top free agent. CFL action is in Toronto tonight as the Argonauts are facing arch-rival Ticats at the Rogers Center. The Argos 3,000-yard man Chad Owens has been selected as CFL's top kick returner. Teammate Jermaine Copeland will try to become the 15th player in CFL history to reach 10,000 receiving yards. The Maple Leafs were on fire in New Jersey last night. The Devils put up a good fight but were no match for the Leafs. Leafs forward Joffrey Lupo got his first hat-trick in four years to lead the team to a final score of 5-3. Joey Crabb and Mikhail Grabowski also scored. Martin Brodeur returned to net for New Jersey after missing six games due to a shoulder injury. He was unable to outplay at least Jonas Gustafsson, who played his seventh game of the season. Toronto plays tonight against the Blue Jackets in Columbus. In other NHL action from last night, the Philadelphia Flyers beat the Buffalo Sabres in a close game of 3-2. The Phoenix Coyotes clobbered the Colorado Avalanche on their home ice, scoring four goals to one. Across the pond, soccer star and heartthrob Cristiano Ronaldo scored his 100th goal in a penalty kick for Real Madrid against Olympique Lyonnais, securing their 2-0 win in France. He scored both goals in the game, making it their fourth straight win in the Champions League. That's it for sports. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Vicky. After the break, we'll get the latest in entertainment from Lindsay Tuji. Want to walk a mile in Shania Twain shoes? We'll tell you how in a moment. We'll also tell you about the must-see shows that are closing this week. All that and more when we come back. 